Right, it's our first day of 2022, it's the 2nd of Jan, and I've overslept some light. Now, what would you do? Would you rush to work as soon as possible? Make your apologies, because Rich is there, he's waiting. Uh, or would you go to McDonald's to get a coffee to make amends for you being late, thus making you more late? What would you do? I'll see what I've done. I like coffee. Well, everybody, hope you're well. 2nd of January, skies are blue, we're off to a fly out, apart from sleeping in, but I think the coffee uh, smoothed things over, hasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, see? It's done the job. £1.39, boom. Um, if you have a problem, throw money at it, that's my motto. Uh, that's what we built, end of the last video, it was dark, wasn't it, so you couldn't really see it. We'll show you more now, I'll turn you around and I'll show you the plan for today. So basically, it is a repeat of what we were doing the other day. <coughs> Corners are obviously up, line is on. And up we go. Only difference is now we've got one more course to go on. That's my first one of 2023. It went down quite well, didn't it? It was uh, all right. It took a good half an hour. <laughs> it was all right, well, yeah. Actually, it took about an yeah. hour and a half, didn't it? Let's, let's tell the truth. <laughs> that's, that's it, yeah. Yeah, it was warm. It was warm. So I didn't, I didn't want to get out of this. Um, so, yeah, first one 2023. The only way is up. Uh, well, well, across actually for now. Um, uh, one more course to go on. And then we've got to work out where the windows are going. So, uh, and then it's pillars, that'll be a pillar there, window there, and a pillar there, and then it'll be lintels across. Uh, one course of block on the inside, and then wall plate, and then this man comes into his own. He'll get his robo cop out of his house. and afraid it'll all yeah, be timber. All to, yeah, there we go. I'll talk about bricks yeah. if you want, but it'll be timber. Yeah, there you have it. Um, the only issue is that obviously we've got these pillars that are gonna be fairly, you know, it's un unsubstantial, shall we say. So d the idea is that you get it up and get lintels on as soon as possible. It's bank holiday today. No place is open to buy lintels. So we'll sort it. Well, nice and steady today. Nice and steady. Get it up there. Get it to height. And then, uh, yeah, get ourselves ready for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> right, just experiencing a bit of a tall down moment. We've set the window out where we think it should go and the size of it and all that. Um, practically from internally, where the kitchen's going to go, that sort of thing, it's all got to work. Um, so we think it should be this size and we should we think it should be there. However, the customer isn't here today and it's their final decision. So they're on their way somewhere at the moment. So when they get there, they're going to watch the video I've just sent them and then they will confirm, deny, whatever, move it this way, move it that. Really easy to, to move things at the moment. Go any higher, it just becomes a, soul destroying task having to rebuild these uh do the same thing twice so old fire for a bit richard's just getting the uh getting the tees on and uh yeah a little bit chill out and we'll see what they say excellent game game back on we just uh, had confirmation that we're we're good to go so all we're doing now then i don't think i'd film it um there is some i'll quickly show you in a second but basically all we're doing is line up each one and then we're just coming up here for that panel the same that panel uh, back it up with the blocks and then that's it basically, that's, that's all we can do. Right, just a quick, uh, right Rich? Uh, um, <laughs> does he? Um, if, you, if you've got a profile set up for your reveals, like we have, or you're working to a dummy frame, always lay towards them. Um, so your first brick basically you're building something solid is what I'm trying to say I suppose they're getting tongue tied we haven't got enough profiles or indeed I'm not going to bother making a dummy frame for the reveal for the window so if you lay to the profile that is solid by the time you put you come to this brick and put this one on just for argument's sake you're laying to something you're laying, you're laying to some weight there, basically, a bit of a bit of substance, so to speak. So then you can plumb that, and then if that's hanging over, if you're knocking that back in to plumb it, you know that these aren't going to move. If you do it the other way and work from your reveal to your profile, I'm going to show you this, demonstrational pur purposes, especially on halves, what can happen? You lay that, like that, and then, that is exaggerated, but you can move that over. And it goes over there so then what you do you lay your bricks then and then by the time you put that back in you knock that back over these halves they can start tilting they can move in they can be low so you're in a bit of a world of hurt there so if i go this way then i'm laying this half which has got a big frog in it so it can always move about it's a bit of a nightmare you're laying to something solid so you can get it get it spot on 
I hope that helps somebody. Got there in the end, didn't we? And there we have it. These two pillars now are up to lintel height. And there's not a fat lot more we can do with that. I haven't, uh, haven't backed it up because we were running dangerously low on compo. Um, for the brickwork, we've, as always, we've gauged it exact. Uh, we've used four and one on this, so four and one uh, every mix. And that obviously keeps the colour consistent. So, although it would have been far easier to back it up as we went, as we go along with that, we didn't want to waste the compo and then try and knock up just two cores worth by hand and keep the gauge perfect. So, Richie's just knocking up a bucket full by hand in order to do the internal block work, which obviously doesn't matter in terms of the colour slightly different. That won't matter one bit. So, yes, there we go. A bit of trestle surfing to get it finished. But there we have it. Block work up now, up to lintel light, and then that is that. Lintels tomorrow, and away we go. Richie's just doing some cuts for us, so I'll just jump down and see how we're looking from down here, which is what it's all about, basically. And uh, it's looking all right, isn't it? Brick match wise, we can try and get it justifies that decision, I believe. Beautiful, right then. Let's get these blocks on, and then we're done for the day. Just thought I'd give you a quick close up of the pointing up with, with this, little, this little tool, which I can't remember for life what it's called. So, Andy, over to you. If you wouldn't mind telling everybody, mate, and, uh, it's it's a little bit more of an effort trying to blend it into the house, but going over it with this, sending a good a good brush after quite a quite a coarse brush actually, not just a nice soft one just to get the bits soft. Quite give it quite a going over. It seems all right. It seems all right, especially for these bricks trying to make them look good. So yeah, I'm fairly happy with that. Look at that, eh? Beautiful. Not as beautiful as that though. Not that you can see it. Looking through the camera. So, ah, there we go, there we go. Um, yeah, so that's it. It's gonna cover up now. A bit of plastic with a bit of hessian on top. Ready for lintels tomorrow. We've just, a bit of compo we had left. Just started filling these in around there, which we'll have to do tomorrow, I think. So, yeah. There we go, on to tomorrow. Right then, it's the following morning. It's the 2nd of January, so shops are open. So we're back to back to normal. So we've been out, got the lintels, and we'll go now straight up and install them. Right, yeah, got the lintels round. Um, and this is how I put them on. As you noticed on the previous video, um, this is the one you're looking for if you want to go back and watch it if you're new. Uh, I always leave the, when it comes to lintel height, I always leave the internal block work down just a smidge, just so I can put a decent bed on the back of the lintels, which I've got there. And then on the front, all I've done here is um, fill the frog up, and then I'm just gonna basically, I'll do this one hand, I'll do it properly in a second once I put the camera down, but just, I'm just gonna smear the front. Make sure there's some just there, and that's it, and then we'll put it on. I'll do that both sides. That's old, that's gone off. Do that both sides and then put it on and then we'll see where we are. We can always adjust it, but we want that as one a little as low as possible in order to get us in the bed of the brick there. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll put it on now and then we'll see where we are. So there we go. As I say, big bed, next to nothing bed. Yeah, you can see that. I'll just scrape that back. Look, there is something under it completely, but not a lot just so it takes the rock out a little and keeps it as low as possible so you come over it with your bricks so i'm still in the bed there which is good um the one downside to having uh, opening up your cavities to about 110 mil um which you've done here just so that the, the insulation doesn't push the block wall out or or even the brick wall if you if you're building it uh quickly quickly i should say is that when it comes to the cavities there these things you see how you can leave a big overhang on one side so all i've done put a brick flush with your your wall there that's next to nothing there so you could firmly sit a brick onto that without it tipping or anything like that that's fine i favored the front because it's more important really and then the back black work that's fine 
you see there's a bit more of an overhang there if I was to do the same there you've got more of an overhang but we'll be good there that's fine so it's just something to keep an eye out so that's I measured that that's 115 mil from the face to that corner there which we all keep the same so when you're looking at it from underneath they're all the same it's all uh, it's all checked and a testament to our laser level I always put a lintel on the uh, level on the top of the lintel there because there can be a bit of a bit of flex in the front it's only thin metal and whatnot and some are pre-stressed so the middle put on the top and we are if I can hold it right with one hand and we are good so testament to the laser level so yeah we'll do that We'll do it another two times, and away we go. Right, they're both on now. Rich is just doing some cuts, just hasn't worked out a full block. We'll go into why when we put uh, the big boy on in a second and we move all this down. It's just uh, another quick tip. It's a bit drizzly now, I don't know if you can see it, but um, beans have only got one course to go on on this front of this lintel, and the fact that once the roof spills, you might not even see it. The soffit, it might work out. The soffit goes straight into the top of the window, like it does there. But you start laying bricks on this, on, on, on metal, the compound's got nowhere to go, so you can only put a thin bed on. Um, but if it's wet and you've got standing water on it, like it has done here, because as I say, it's a bit drizzly, the compound is just going to swim. It, the, uh, as soon as you put the brick on, it's going to move it. Right? So just, just go over it and just, you see that water there? Just try and get up as much as you can. You can just grab some insulation. I've got insulation for this, but means I'm a frequent McDonald's flyer. I tend to pick up uh, napkins while I'm in there. So just get rid of all that, because that's just going to make your life a nightmare unless you, uh, you get rid of it. So just try your best for that. And then as I'm going across, all I'm going to be basically doing is putting just a smear of compo, favouring the front. In fact, I'll give you a quick demonstration. If I was to put that on, just keep it well away. See the water coming out of it? Keep it well away from the back. Like that. Put favour the front of it. Like that, you're going to give yourself a much better chance of actually getting this, um, getting the brick uh, nice and flat and level because your lintel isn't, your lintel is going exaggerated, lintel is going down like that, especially at the very front, it drops right down to form a bit of a drip. So you need to favour the front um, and keep it away from the back. If you do it a nice 10 mil proper bed or not you know whatever it is uh proper bed it's just going to cause yourself issue so favor the front and yeah uh, you'll be okay got those on not a lot of compo at all on the back only the front really just to quickly show you the outer sides out of mind places when you're pointing up just uh um just to show you, just something for, not to forget. I always like to just flush it up underneath uh, and the back in the cavity as well. So any case of building specs that comes out and, and sees it and whatnot, this looks a bit neater, doesn't it? Um, and also, I haven't done this reveal yet, just to show you. Point up under the lintel there, obviously, and a little lunk here, and just make sure that your perps are full underside as well because potentially you're going to be studying looking up and you can see it so it's got to go round the corner around the bottom of it um i know i haven't put a lot of compo on the bottom i do a smear it is still bedded on as you can see and i yeah you know, i mean you can fake that joint if you want it to but as you can see here it is bedded on but only a couple of mil so that's sort of the point really um, just in case anyone says, oh, you don't point, you know, you're supposed to bed them on or whatnot. It is bedded on. It's just not a full joint because you won't get it under your bed joint. I think I've stressed that point enough now, haven't I? So what we'll do now, I'll put them up and then we'll strip the scaffold, put it all down there, and then we'll get on with the big boy. And that's the big boy on. Sorry we haven't been able to film it, but, you know, I run trestles and it's all a bit just... It's a little bit too close and it's just, just awkward, but I mean, it's only land bricks over it. If you just follow the, what I've said before, you ain't going to have much trouble. But you've just got to take your time when you're going over a lintel. Um, this 
this brick has got to be the face of this has got to be completely flat yes it should always be obviously um, but if it's slightly out the next course you go across it really you can really see it and it, it looks terrible um, but luckily I think that's all we've got to do on this we might once the roof goes on we might I might have to be in fill so to speak between them and just get an extra course on depending on how it's the soffit works and whatnot but as it stands that is it um, Another thing to note is, uh, you might notice, um, well, go on, I'll give, you, I'll give you a second, what's missing from there? Anybody? Uh, you at the back. Um, yeah, it's a um, cavity tray. Building inspector came this morning to inspect the floor, even though we've slightly uh, got a above and beyond with that, but he was alright about it. There's nothing that can't be seen there, nothing that can't be inspected regarding all that construction and whatnot, so... It's not an issue at all, uh, but he said that beans that we're doing the same as this in terms of where the soft, the overhang of the roof to the soffit, um, there's no need to put a cab to train, which I think is a is the perfect common sense approach because the roof's going to come down here. It's going to be completely protected. The overhang will be to around about there, roughly speaking. So there's no way that water can get into there for the cavity tray to take the water back out so he said don't bother so we're happy with that um yeah so that's it so now what we're going to do is do the wall plate which rich is just getting his his tools out look he's always getting all excited he's getting himself set up over there look at his little face look oh, he, well. he gets oh he gets to cut he gets to cut stuff um and then we will bed that uh on top of here uh we the reason why we've cut this um, and that had a full block is because we need this wall plate as low as possible, low as practically possible, in order to get the maximum pitch that we can get up there. So um, it's all about keeping it, keeping it down as far as we practically can, um, while still not compromising the structural uh, elements of, of the timber. And how you cut around this, uh, and that was governed by this lintel here, the big boy, because that is taller than the others. So it's all been worked out to that. But all, we'll, that, all that will make sense uh, if I get my words out when we put the wall plate on. And there we go, that's how it looks from down here. Quite nice, isn't it? It's all right. And as you can see, it's a big thing for me trying to blend these bricks in. That's, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Right, I will um, cover that up now and uh, we'll get on the wall plate. Which reminds me the importance of covering up. Uh, yesterday, it's quite chilly yesterday, um, but it was all right. You know, it was about five, six degrees, something like that. Maybe, a, maybe a touch higher. Um, and today is a high of eleven and a low of ten, so it's a big increase. It's really mild for this time of year. But uh, when I went to bed last night, all the cars were frozen over, so it froze last night and then thawed out. Um, and if I hadn't looked outside, I wouldn't even known about it. So that just proves that how this time of year. It can really catch you out if you don't try and protect your brickwork with hessian and whatnot. Because um, before, if I, if I just left this, having looked at the weather forecast, that it's not going to freeze, it's going to be all right. That would have frozen and thawed out, and you wouldn't even realise until in a couple of weeks' time it all starts to crumble, or maybe when it warms up in the spring. So always, always cover up, or at least try your best to. Oh man, just goes to prove the importance of just standing back and looking at it, because that's where. That's where the real judgment comes in, not putting levels on, up stuff or on stuff. No one really cares about that, but you see that there? I've laid it to the line, the top's nice, but that brick is smaller than that one. And you see that horrible little step up there? Looks horrible, doesn't it? That look all right over there, but that looks horrible. So I'm going to change that one. I'm going to find a bigger one and just get that one down a bit. Because as I say, this is where you're standing back and looking at it, that's where you're properly judged. Here we go, that looks a bit better, doesn't it? Just swapped it out. 62 mil that brick was. Um, it, it's never going to be perfect, the underside, because you put a line across the top and then the thickness of the brick, they differ. But when they're that different next to each other, oh, it looks horrible, especially there as well, right under the doors where you're going to walk through, you're going to look up and see it. So it was twisting my melon, man, so I had to, had to change it. Right then, wall plate. Well, this is a masterclass in, in recycling. For those of you who have been following us for a while now, first and foremost, obviously, thank you very much. Um, 
we did a job over in Harborne. It's all on the channel if you want to go and have a look at this side and rear extension. And this here was the uh, the joists in their floor that we took out, and it was great timber for um, wall plates, four by three. And it's treated. And it's treated, and it's ace, so we kept it, and we're going to reuse it now. So Richard just cut them to length for us, and you can't see that because it's a fag paper joint. What it needs fixing. I'll zoom in, I'll zoom in. It's it half lapped it. We've got um, a length that was deemed better to span the door and then that length there spans that window just to there and then we've got a little tiny little piece there we've put in the middle. Um, so, you happy with the joints, Rich? Not really. <laughs> they need tweaking. Yeah, he'll, he'll be happy one day. <laughs> Keep tuned. Stay tuned. I'll let you know. If you hear a random firework go up in June, it's because Richard's finally happy. Um, so take it oh off now, gosh. and we'll, uh, we'll we'll bed it on. <laughs> so, that ain't bad, is it? Considering it's already been the floor for somebody. Not bad at all. Nice and straight, as Richard's pointed out. See that one? I mean, all wood bends and warps and whatnot. That one's going in slightly. So, um, Richard just said, once we bedded it on, he'll pull it out and whatnot to, to suit him for when he puts his roof on. So... It's already been um, eyed down, and if there's a camber in it, if there's a hump, it goes hump up. That's right, isn't it, Rich? Crown up. Crown up. Crown, crown up. Yeah. Crown up. Get the term right. Uh, which it is as it is. So we'll take these off now, put a nice big bed under it, and uh, get them on. Right, we've got to film this in stages. So stage one, nice big bed. Don't skimp on it. Just uh, go for it. And then all I'm going to do now, which I won't be able to film because it'll take both of us to do this, is just pick that up, place it on, and then tap it down with your trowel. And we'll put all three wall plates on till we're all the way down, and then we'll get a profile on, as Rich says, which is a great point, because uh, we need to get this as, as level as possible. We're keeping one eye on the trade, the next trade in front of you. So if this is all out, it makes the carpenter's uh, job a lot harder, and I've got to work you with him. Okay, if it wasn't me, would you? Yeah, no. <laughs> no. I would, honest. Um, yeah, so flat as possible, level as possible, flat as in that way, nice flat as possible, level as possible, and the we're going to measure and square it off periodically across and get it as square to the building as possible. And uh, right then, see you in a bit. Right, so if you know your block works right, which we do, uh, a nice consistent bed. You know your timber's nice and straight, which in this case it is, by pure luck really, but it's always a bit of a lottery. Then you know that you're just going to plonk it on, and then a consistent taps all the way down, and you're never going to be too far away, and I haven't done a lot to that at all. And we are, you know, we're all right, so it's all in the prep work, isn't it? it makes this a load easier. So all I'm going to do now is move this down, make sure that we're level as we possibly can be, all the way down. And that's basically it. Right, that's it. Uh, what more can we tell you? That's the best that we can get it. Level as we can get it. Straight as we can get it. Gives Rich the best possible foundation to build his roof off. So, oh yeah. That's it, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Right then, well there we have it. One extension up to wall place. It's built, really. Um, still got the cut ups to do but we can't do them until uh, the roof's on so in terms of brick lane that's it for the moment the next episode will feature quite heavily this man including his expertise to uh to build a roof he'll go through much detail as he can for you so yeah look out for that one uh thanks for watching and uh you can see us next time bye draw a bit wouldn't believe it's older than me, would you?